Good morning, Zio here, and today is going to be one of those eggshell topics that uh, you probably should never talk about because if you're not 100% grow or glowing praises of whatever it is that you know you're you're talking about, everybody's going to take a dump on you and be like, uh, yeah, you're wrong, blah blah blah, this that and the other, and I'm going to sit here and say screw you <laughs> seriously so here's the question what's the difference if you had a challenge right and uh that challenge is in a fighting game and they tell you to beat up batman you know x number of thousands of times to unlock the tier uh the next tier of a particular um reward process for some kind of challenge that is happening for that month how would you feel about that you probably would go and beat the crap out of Batman, wouldn't you? And uh, you wouldn't really care. Now, if I told you to do that with Poison Ivy, would, would that be acceptable? Yeah, to me, that, that would totally be acceptable. If you were to beat up Superman to unlock that, sure, why not? The Joker, who cares? Um, you know, essentially, you know, it's a fighting game. And when it comes to challenges, you can only do so much when it comes to a fighting game. Uh, so let's say it's Ryu, you know, Street Fighter, Street Fighter's holding the challenge. You got to beat Ryu. You know, the player base has to beat Ryu 250,000 times or something uh, within a given time frame. Uh, you know, th these kinds of challenges aren't exactly new. Uh Let's see, I think it's Pokemon Go who does a lot of these challenges where you've got to do, you know, certain raids, a uh, certain amount of raids or unlocks or uh, open up, so hatch so many eggs uh, among the co community, right, to, uh, you know, advance this challenge thing and all this other stuff. So this is some, nothing new. However, because, because it happens to be Poison Ivy in this thing, it is this big to do that everybody's losing their mind over. So. Let's get into it, shall we? Oh, and uh, grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, all that good stuff. And don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, the normal. Let's go. So first things first, my opinion, they should not have issued an apology because there's one thing we always know when it comes to the people who are complaining about something like this. One, if you apologize to them, it is not enough. It is never enough. They want more. So you should just never apologize. You go, look, this is the challenge. You like it. You like it. If not, well, there's the door. Because chances are the people who are complaining about this aren't playing the game to begin with. And why do I say that? Let's go down here to, to the, the tweet in... Uh, thing here global pride challenge because by the way if you don't know it is pride month and i actually really didn't even realize because everybody has a month everybody has a day except for me of course unless it's my birthday and uh i just don't really give two shits about anybody's months or days <laughs> i i don't care i'm not going to celebrate them i'm not going to be all up in arms i'm not going to change my profile pictures for them um, but you know, you do you boo, right? Uh, just like every other corporation out there, you can see the injustice logo right there where they've gone pride for the month to get your sweet, sweet dollar, dollar bills, because, uh, they don't really give two shits about you either. Um, anyway, but a uh, global prize challenge day update together. We've taken down entangling poison IVA 1,000 seven or 175,000 times. Keep up the great work heroes defeat poison Ivy, uh, 200, Earn 25,000 more times to unlock the first reward tier. Hashtag pride, hashtag injustice mobile, hashtag global challenge. Now, here's where I say they shouldn't have apologized because one, if you're watching this video, you do not play the game. Um, you know, you, you, I don't give two shits what you say. Um, if you are upset about this, well, it's a video game. What did you want from them? Um, you know, get over it anyway. So, when it comes down to it, I just don't care. Uh, but anyway, people have taken it down, have done the challenge, is working towards beating this challenge, and they don't care, right? Um, over 175,000 times uh, probably actually would have hit the goal if they hadn't have ended the thing early or changed it or did whatever it is they have done since this reporting, of course. Um, but yeah, apparently... What has happened is Poison Ivy is now bisexual, and uh, I don't care that Poison Ivy is bisexual. <laughs> uh, 
to be totally honest. And, uh, you know, we're dealing with a fighting game. There's only so much, as I was saying, that you can do with a fighting game. You can either have um, X character get beaten so many number of times, or you can say you need to use X character to, um, you know, beat a certain thing over and over again so many times, right? And the problem with, say, doing that, saying that you have to use, say, for this example, Poison Ivy to, uh, you know, beat other players or something and one-to-one -one something a t total number of times is the fact that not everybody will play Poison Ivy, right? Not everybody is good with Poison Ivy, um, you know, and that kind of really limits who can actually participate in the challenge to begin with. But if you take a character and say, okay, if you can defeat X, because, you know, this this title is really, really bad sounding, right? Video game issues, groveling apology after pride challenges, ask players to beat up LGBT plus character. Um, beat up LGBT plus character. That is so horrible sounding but you know the the thing is they were tasked with defeating this particular character and to unlock different rewards and uh you know when you pigeonhole people into playing as a particular character like hey here's this this thing on soul caliber we're doing this thing but you have to play a siegfried every single time and, and beat x amount of people there's a lot of people who can't play with Siegfried, or are they not very good with Siegfried? Maybe they're better with Taki or 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 somebody else or whoever. You know, me, I it's been a long time since I've played Soul Calibur. But yeah, I, I prefer faster moving characters over the slow brute types. And I've always uh, you know uh, gravitate it to more fast speedier characters in any fighting game that i play so if you're forced forcing me to play with a specific character i just can't do it i can't participate i i won't win i'm not going to be able to do the thing that needs to be done um but with this particular challenge then everybody can um because on the other hand if they were to say hey here's the deal you need to beat batman x number of times for a pride month thing right a, a pride month challenge you're going to have people who are upset that Poison Ivy isn't involved in it for some reason whatsoever, right? Uh, that That's the other side of all this. So to be totally honest, they shouldn't apologize for this. this that was a bad decision. And when it comes down to it, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. If you care about it, then fine. That's fine. Sign, sign sh Shout out down in the comments below. But this is just one of those mundane things that nobody, nobody cared about nobody had cared about and you can't actually see my cursor on the screen anyway i'm circling the 1755 times there but nobody actually cared about until they probably saw this tweet right here nobody even knew what was going on or even cared about it until the hashtag pride appeared in that tweet which was probably the other bad thing that they shouldn't have done they shouldn't have put that in there nobody would have known about this challenge nope not at all <laughs> Nobody would be complaining about it because nobody would be caring about it because nobody would even realize it's a thing because the people complaining about it or sounding off the loudest don't play the game. Anyway, that's all I got. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will talk to you later. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that... Uh, suit your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.